Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Forgiveness comes because there is no perfect relationship. There must be forgiveness because there is no what? No perfect relationship. Let's quickly go through the book of Romans 15, verse 1. We who are strong ought to bear with the of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us should please his neighbor for his good. To build him up. Take note of that. For even Christ did not please himself. But as it is written, the insult of those who insult you have fallen on me. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through endurance and the encouragement of the scripture, we might have hope. There must be forgiveness because there is no perfect relationship. No perfect world. No perfect relationship. Relationships means cooperation. We are people involved, benefit or gain. If one is weak in one area, he might be strong in another area. This means we have our strength and our weaknesses. We must recognize this in each other. You husband and wife, you must recognize the weakness, the strength for our relationship to endure. For our relationship to what? Last. To survive. Where I'm weak is where you are strong. This is the secret of my humility. People say, ah, this man is too humble. Hum Why not humble? When I understand what life is all about. Where I'm weak is where you are strong. That is the secret of my humility. I know you deserve my respect, and I also deserve your respect. You deserve my honor, not only, eh, man, I got good money. If I first see you, I should be able to say, good morning, sir. Not me. Every time, good morning, Managa. Managa will not ever say, good morning, sir. Every time, good morning. You are the first calling me, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. No. If I'm going and I am the one that first see you, uncle, good morning, sir. Oh, Managa, good morning. That is what life is all about. Because I'm a man of God. I'm the one who first seen you. I'm looking at you because I'm a man of God. <laughs> yeah, I want to see whether you will not greet me. He doesn't know I'm a man of God. No. Where I'm weak is where you are strong. This is the secret of my war. Humility. I know you deserve my respect. You deserve my honor. And I too deserve your respect and your honor. It's not one-sided. It's not. That is what relationships is all about. If you reject one because of his weakness, you also reject his strength. Are you with me? If you reject 
one because of his weakness you also reject his what his strength i have one funny story sometime just two weeks ago a woman was saying this is a man i will have married but because of his weakness then He said, this is a man I will have married because of his weakness then. Ah. I asked myself, why regretting now? The man she has married now is working as a security guy in the company of the man she had rejected on account of weakness. One wonderful day, she went to the husband working place because she could not see her husband early. The husband came home very too late, trying to meet the husband at working place. On getting there, he saw somebody, so, 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 name, <sighs> and saw the picture. On getting to the security post, she sat down and looked at the cat lodge. Oh, she started crying. She could not mention this to her husband. I could not answer the nature of weakness, but the weakness is weakness. This is man I would have married. Then, but because of his weakness, but today the man had become a successful person with a happy family. If you know your friend's weakness. Help him instead of rejecting him. Because a person who is a tongue in your flesh today may be a helper tomorrow. Are you with me? A person who is a tongue, who is trouble, giving you pain today, may be your helper tomorrow. Don't reject anyone on account of today. Tell your neighbor, don't reject anyone on account of today. Because tomorrow is a mystery. You know what mystery? When you open your dictionary, you may find different meaning. Mystery simply means unknowable. On what? Unknowable secret, this miracle, science and wonder, divine truth, divine revelation, all this are mystery. Don't reject anyone on account of today because tomorrow is a mystery. Mystery, what you don't know what will happen. A murderer can become a deliverer tomorrow. A murderer can be a president tomorrow. A murderer can be a secretary general tomorrow. Don't reject anyone on account of today. Because tomorrow is a mystery. Many have rejected their prospective Helper, because of inability 
to see beyond their situation at hand. Prospective helper, that is future helper. <laughs> because of differences. No, oh, no, no, no. You lie against me. My friend, you can do this to me. You, you can do this to me. Because of that, you say forever and ever. You will not want to hear him or see him. The person in question may be a deliverer tomorrow or your savior tomorrow. If you have abandoned him because of that differences, how will you go back? Next. Don't allow weakness and confrontation to tear you down or pull you apart. Rather, see it as a means of coming closer together and being prepared together. If two strong people meet, there is no lesson to learn. That is not relationship. If I'm strong and you are strong and we come together, that is not relationship. One must weak, one must strong. When I'm weak, you are strong. When you are strong, I'm weak. You are because I am, I am because you are. No perfect world. No perfect war. I can hear you. No perfect relationship. The mouth needs word. Feet needs to go places. Eyes need a view. Eyes needs what? Feet need to go if you stand for a while as a spot you will soon die the purpose of faith is to what don't reject anyone because of an account of today God can use broken things for a seat of power, for throne, for authority, for leader of tomorrow. God often uses foolish things to express himself. I know our life has been affected greatly because of this. You have good, you are not pleased, and you are looking for better. You have better, you are not pleased, you are looking for best. In the process of looking for best, you lose better, you lose good. Me, you have good. You, you are looking for better, better behaviors. In the process of looking for better behaviors, you have forgotten that you too, you are not an island. Where you are strong, the person in question is weak. And where you are weak, the person in question is strong. Take care of your relationship. Once again, relationship means cooperation. Cooperation 
where people involved in that relationship benefit or gain. Look at the whole world today, nation to nation. There is no small country that does not have strength and weakness. Each country should know that this country is there, is there because of this country is there. And this country is there because of that country is there. God decided to arrange things like that so that you would not overthrow him. If you know how to run, you may not know how to jump. If you know how to jump, you may not know how to run. So that you continue to depend on one another for assistance, for help. I can't come to the church and begin to address the empty seat. You are on the seat, that is why I'm standing talking to you. I cannot be on the seat and at the same time address you. We can't have two TB Joshua. TB Joshua cannot stand talking and at the same time TB Joshua sitting. Listen to TB Joshua. It's not possible. So you are on the seat, that is why I'm out addressing. So this is my weakness. My weakness now, I cannot sit down and at the same time standing. Your own weakness, you cannot sit down and at the same time addressing people. So where I'm strong, you are weak. Where you are weak, I'm strong. God bless his way. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We believe you have been inspired by the clip you have just watched. Click here to subscribe to witness more of God's power at work in our generation today and stay up to date with the latest prophecies, deliverances, sermons and testimonies from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel TV, changing lives, changing nations and changing the world.